Hello, John Rhodes here and welcome back. Big hello to all my subscribers and for those of you that have just stumbled on the channel, why not subscribe now? In this video presentation, I'm going to be looking at root treatment of a couple of maxillary incisors where there were brand new ceramic restorations in place. There was very little tooth substance underneath the restorations and so I had to use a conservative access cavity to gain access to the root canals. This can be challenging and it's very easy to go off course and perforate, especially on the buccal surface, as I'll show you. I'm not generally a big fan of minimal access cavities. Technically, it makes the root treatment a lot more difficult and certainly in mandibular and maxillary molars, it's easy to miss canals or fractures. The other question is, should you really be removing restorations in order to check for caries? In this case, I had no choice. The restorations were new, and the patient certainly didn't want them destroyed. And so a minimal access cavity was essential in order to preserve tooth substance. I hope you enjoy it. Here you can see the preoperative radiograph. The maxillary central and lateral incisors both had chronic abscesses. The roots are quite thin and the crowns bulbous. It will be fairly tricky to locate the root canal through the crown. The all ceramic crowns were splinted together and you can see that I've used a split dam technique with wedgets and oral seal caulking to achieve a good rubber dam seal. When making an access cavity through a ceramic crown such as this, it's very important to visualise the long axis of the root, not the crown, in both planes. In this way, you'll avoid perforation. My initial access cavity preparation is with the long tapered diamond burr to perforate through the ceramic and into the dentine. I'm now using an LN bird to try and locate the root canal. I'm constantly watching in the mirror with the microscope and directly on the buccal surface of the crown to make sure that I'm heading in the correct direction. I irrigate and then dry with paper points to check that I'm heading in the right direction and to see whether I can see any sign of the root canal. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm confident I'm heading in the right direction. So I go a little deeper with the LN burr. You can see it's almost at the full length of the burr. I have located the root canal and so I'm now using a ProTaper SX instrument to flare coronally. The working length in both teeth is estimated using an electronic apex locator. Wrap 
rapid tapering is completed using the Wave 1 instruments small and primary. Here you can see how the conservative access cavity flows continuously into the coronal preparation of the root canal. Next it's time for cone fitting and a cone fit radiograph. The cone fit radiograph looks good and so I can now proceed to obturation. The final radiograph shows a good coronal apical seal and the conservative axis cavities are highlighted nicely. Well I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and above all, enjoy your endo.